<laughs> wow. Uh, the thing is, you know, I, I, God can show, it's, it's sad how, you know, God shows his uh, blood moon on uh, July 27th. He showed his blood moon as a sign, as a sign on a day that, you know, is, you know, it's, it's, it's the same pattern of another day that God showed me that the, like the, the last of the blood moon tetra in 2014 and 15, uh, the last uh, blood moon tetra was on the 27th and 28th. And guess what? July 27th and 28th. Right there, connection. God can send his signs to you. Wow. He can send his signs that, hey, hey, I'm gonna do something. And that lack of, of course, the fear of the God concerning the church. See, it's one thing that darkness, well, darkness not gonna have a, people that are in darkness are not gonna have a response to, most of them I'm not gonna have a response to God's signs. But people that are of God, that is of the church, you know what I'm saying? Are, so, are supposed to respond to if God sends a sign in the heavens. They're going to say, supposed to say, whoa, God, what are we doing? Whoa, 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 what we need to do? What, what, what needs to be done? You know what I'm saying? Supposed to be, supposed to be a spiritual wake-up call, you know? You know, it's funny. They, you know, they got, you know, services called revivals, and the church still sleeping, you know? That's another message, though. But the thing is, I want to talk about um, kind of like my message. But I want to, uh, there was something I wanted to uh, really talk about. In all, sin I hopefully, in all sincereness, that you will receive what I'm saying in all sincereness, you know. I notice I don't get a lot of views on my videos. It's interesting, you know. And it's, it's sad I don't get a lot of views, not expecting a lot of views, but it's sad concerning the extent of what, I mean, you know, like, uh, I mean, the thing is, I want to talk about, like, uh, if, like we, you know, Mel Gibson put, you know, made a movie of the Passion of Christ. And if we put the Passion of Christ movie right here and we look at what you're doing on a Christian, do it on a daily basis, and we can look at that Passion of Christ or what Jesus Christ went through, you know, a, a, a decent, I mean, I say, you know, close to the truth of what happened, you know what I'm saying, close to the truth of what happened, um, a display of what Jesus Christ went through, and put your life, what you, what most Christians' life, on beside these two uh, to each other. How would that look, you know? Will we look at that and say, okay, Jesus going all in, 39 lashes, rip, rip, you. Oh, darn. Uh, what's going on here? Will we look at you in that perspective? Because, I mean, the lack of, I mean, the lack of questioning this performance of this church system and the performance of other Christians and, and, and the excelling of darkness. How much darkness and how much bad things are going on around us that really drives me crazy. Like the bad things and how much, like, you know, I was meditating of, uh, you know, the idea that I, I, I can't stand the idea that the world will have more events outside, you know, cities than churches. That always bothers me. You know what I'm saying? Why churches don't have events outside, you know, in a public arena, you know, then, but the world has their events here and their events there, you know. 
And, you know, I was just meditating on all, you know, it's just too many, uh, it's too many bad, uh, uh, I call it the ch church, ha has a horrible report card. I mean, the report card is horrific. And I was meditating on, like, you know, it, the Bible says, uh, it talks about what, for 2 Timothy 1, it talks about God has not given us spirit of fear, but of love. It's talking about stir up the gift, yeah. Stir up your gift, you know. And, you know, stir, and stir up the gift. And what really aggravates me, you know, that has been going on in the church, that, uh, that, that there, and especially in local areas, there are not places for Christians or young Christians, whatever, uh, you know, to to uh, really, you know, uh, st perform their gifts, uh, utilize their gifts and the talents uh, concerning the glory glory of God. There's not really no places that you know you can go to and see people utilize the gift, whether it's dancing, whether it's singing, whether it's whatever, miming, rapping, spoken word. There's not places where, you know, people can, you know, display their gifts and minister to other people. Or there's no events uh, facilitating on the out, outside the four walls to get that perform to get that going, to get the gifts, people got, God gave them gifts, but church, you know, the, the church system in most local areas around, uh, most local areas around the world is not having the places that people that are of God to perform their gifts, to show, you know, to minister to people, you know, the gifting that they do. It is just horrible. It's just, really horrific of what is you know how the church is the system is going on right now that we don't have nobody's not trying to even the people in their church buildings or organizations not trying to put together gifts that will um facilitate i mean events that will facilitate gifts of people in churches that we can minister on a daily basis in areas around the community, you know? Uh, stirring up, the, that really bothers me. And, and, and how much is not being confronted, you know what I'm saying, is disturbing. Because the thing is, there's a, that plays a whole role of, okay, if a person wants to do, live for God and utilize their gift for the glory of God, how they gonna do it, you know? concerning that it's so much all about the preaching and the teaching and and some and the singing and oh if you have this gift in this other area well we may not going to have time for room for your gift in our uh, Sunday service or our service or whatever we're going to have or you have to wait for the concert or that's going you know it's not uh, created to uh to uh, be about gifts is a sad situation. It's a sad situation going on here. Oh, please. Why are you? It's a sad situation. Oh, they going straight. Okay, they must be going straight. I go in front. They must be going straight. <laughs> oh, it's a sad situation happening right now that, uh, um, not being talked about, but it's like the church is doing everything else than what they need to be doing to really be about facilitating the gospel of Jesus Christ as a whole, as a body. You know what I'm saying? That it's not going to be discussed. I mean, are, is the church really working together as a body or they're just working as individuals? And is they, they supposed to be working as individuals to truly be a body. You're not going to get that. Is there anybody going to talk about this? Talk about that. I mean, because it doesn't make sense if you send, if they say, well, we about the kingdom. That is not about the kingdom at all. If you're not truly about following the word of God and 
in that in all aspects when you about the God as the all and mighty God you're supposed to be about all aspects of what is pertaining of him and his gifts the gifts that God has given us to utilize to minister to him is one of part of the aspects that if you say you're all about it should be you know should be should be done doing something about it you know and you know and the thing is is not people are going to stay silent because look when you play silent it means that you are accepting some a system that is incorrect that is not really facilitating the gospel of Jesus Christ in a way that it needs to be facilitated to be a light in darkness i mean the church is not really actually being a light in darkness you know what i'm saying they they convincing everybody Oh, we're gonna shine our light in our building. No, when you have been impacted by the gospel of Jesus Christ, you're supposed to shine. Where all this traffic come from? <laughs> we're supposed to shine a light, you know, out and about. And when the bam, when when you get impacted at the building you you go to, you're supposed to okay, bam, I'm finna go do this for Jesus Christ uh, in my neighborhood. I'm finna go do that for Jesus Christ in my neighborhood. And that's what really if we find out the gifts that you know god has given us that if he ch showed us how to do this and showed us how to do that you know what i'm saying we will probably utilize our gifts out in the community make an impact for jesus christ could be the very thing that can help people to truly minister to those out there i mean there's a lot of people need the gospel of jesus christ i mean too, it's really too. It's so many people, and and so and so much not being done to really help those people, you know, uh, minister. I mean, it's you know, like Jesus says, you know, he's you know praying for laborers. He, there's workers out there, but where he's praying for Jesus, praying for laborers, but the church is not being about facilitating a certain thing to get people to. Uh, get them in their gifting, you know what I'm saying, so they can use their gift to minister to people in their communities and where they're at, that they can make an impact for the gospel of Jesus Christ to save all these. Uh, the, the harvest is plenty. There's so many lost souls out there. It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy to the amount of people that are in darkness uh, everywhere. And it's like the ideal that we're not about helping people about learning their gifting and learning how to minister with their gifting that's important minister first with their gifting and 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 be you know in all sincereness bringing those to the Christ outside the four walls we can truly be about uh, our community about our community to our city is what we need to be about facilitating if we're going to be sincere about saving our uh, city, you know, saving our saving what making a, uh, the impact that the gospel of Jesus Christ should ought to make concerning the power that the blood of Jesus Christ is. It will make that genuine impact. But people need to understand about, you know, the ideal of of, of st 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 stirring the gift of people to utilize their gifting out and about to really make impacts in communities and how give them ideas on a daily basis to how to do it that sh could be something a good project that you may work on yourself but i wish you hope and talk to people at your church and talk to church leaders about that ideal aspect because we need to be all about the gospel of Jesus Christ to truly minister to people and make it not about your building, aka your church, you call it, but make it about every building, everybody that has a gift, utilizing it for the glory of God and everywhere they go and, and working together with other people to do events all in the local area more than the world. We should be having more events more than the world on a consistent basis is what I'm saying. But that's the message. I hope you understand it and I hope it makes sense to you. So God be the glory here forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen.